All right. So checking this out, I think this is a lot better. Um, I think before it had a lot of swimmy, spliny hit moves, and now it's good. There are some moments where it's a bit too harsh, too linear, but I wouldn't split the difference. I think this is great. It's just a couple moments where uh, you want to smooth it out a bit. I'm going to go through that. That's, that's all cool and then this guy once you get to boom here it feels suddenly like you're locking and then the body continues that little sideways motion so I would actually spline this guy out just a bit more that right there it feels like you're boom you're hitting that wall there so that's good boom, wall you don't same thing here you turn See, I can scrub through, especially at speed, you can, uh, at faster speed, you can really tell. So he turns over, boom, here. So, like, your Y curve feels like you're doing, like, something like that. I'm exaggerating, but there's a moment where you have probably two keys or one key with a massive tangent for a stop, and then you continue. Now we just keep that going. You don't have... It's good to have a little contrast in time. It's just this is too much of a stop. But then it also looks like he's almost translating over. So, you know, it doesn't have to be. It really looks like you have two keys that does that. And you could just have one key that's pretty much flat. And that will give you a little bit of pause. But not so much of that, that almost linear stop there. You don't have any honor, do you? And then this one's a bit... Don't have any honor, do you? It feels like... Don't have any honor. It to me feels like honor. Honor would have... The... The head accent. But nothing happens during that jaw move. And then this suddenly goes up and it feels a bit fast and a bit big. Because then at this point he suddenly starts looking up here. So it almost feels like an involuntary head move. So... Don't have any honor, do you? Like that is great. So I would just do honor on... Honor. I will go up and a bit to the right. Honor. So it has that beginning accent. It doesn't go as high. I would just go around here. That height. Honor, do you? The do you is great. But then watch out, you're doing a tilt this way, which is good, I like it, I like that. But then you stop, and then you continue to the right, which gives him a kind of a bobblehead. So I would just go into do you, and I would just take that pause out again. Excuse me, just like before when you had this Y thing. So I would just go into this. And instead of stopping here, maybe one, two, three, four frames later, and then ease into that, right? Now, do you? You. And then it's as you go up, we're suddenly. I'm not a massive fan of looking so far over and higher. It's a weird. It's a weird moment where suddenly unfocused, and then we're looking really over, and I would keep that nose a bit more here, so it's a bit more towards the person. More like that, but then watch out as you go over here. Again, it feels like he's over there and he should be having eye contact. That person, you know, over here. Same thing here, it feels like you want to be a bit more to the right. And again, over more to the right, because we're really pushing those pupils over here. I thought last version had, you know, at least around here. You coward! But I think the move is great. Coward! You coward! And I think your cow is late. That sounds funny. Your cow is late. <laughs> your cow word, right? That downwards on the jaw, I think, is a bit late in the lip sync. Oh. We already said cow, so that jaw should already be down. Coward. Rah. You know? You. 
careful, you got some fast moves in the wrists. You. Good, right there. It's a little pop there. You. Coward! That's definitely better. Just watch out, your arc has a very distinct move like that. So you want to give that a bit of a softer edge there. And then here, your hands go to the right and then to the left. But again, it feels like something like that. Just got to make sure that a, you want to keep that flowy, and every time you do move around like that, that your wrists still go from, you know, from like that to a bit like that. They're always kind of moving with the body and aligning with the forearm. So you don't have moments like here, where there's a lot of stuff going on here, but those hands feel fairly, fairly straight, you know, like where rotation towards us not just the sideways tilt but how it goes from and to us feels the same so watch out this section is a little bit IK all right so sweet update I really like it it's really great progress just a little watch out for little tiny details you don't hear like his arms I would just they're almost moving more than the head, or sometimes almost like in sync with the head here. Uh, I would just keep those hands down. Maybe on this, like this amount of movement is okay when he leans over. And then that down is okay and all that is okay, but I would keep them fairly still here. You're dead. There's just a lot of stuff going on, especially through here. That and that. Which looks very IK. So, and I think you want to also look at at him here and his thought process, like what's going on, and then he gets into the line. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.